Download the tool. Visit the official website or a trusted software distribution site to download Website to APK Builder Pro. Alternatively, you can download it for free using the link provided in the description. If you're going with the free version, follow these steps to install it. First, install the main software by running website.toot-apk-up-builder-v5-installer.exe. After that, go to the Crack folder, copy the website to apk builder pro v 5exe file, and paste it into the same folder where you installed website2 apk builder v 50 installerexe Now the process of converting your website begins. Run website.to.apkbuilder and I'll show you the minimum steps you need to take to create your app. Explaining the options in website to APK Builder. Project metadata. Here, you'll be setting up the basic information for your app. Website type to convert. You can choose between converting a local HTML website or a web URL. If your website is already live, go with the web URL option. App Title. This is where you enter the name of your app as it will appear on your user's devices. Package Name. The package name is a unique identifier for your app, usually in the format com.yourcompany.yourapp. Version Name. Specify the version of your app like 1.0. The version code is a numerical value that increments with each new release of your app. App Orientation. Here, you can choose the orientation of your app. Auto-Rotate allows the app to switch between portrait and landscape based on how the user holds their device. Portrait locks the app in portrait mode. Landscape locks the app in landscape mode. Output Directory. Choose the folder where the APK file will be saved after the build process. About Dialog Text. This is the text that appears in the About section of your app. You can enter details about the app or leave it as None if you don't want to include this feature. App Share Text. This is the text users can share with others about your app. It usually includes a brief description or tagline. App Exit Text. Customize the message that appears when users attempt to exit the app, like, are you sure you want to exit? Browser Config. This section allows you to configure how your app's internal browser behaves. Cache Mode. Choose how your app handles data caching. No cache. Does not store any data. Default Cache stores data temporarily to improve load times. Highly cached, stores more data to reduce loading times further. Custom error page. You can choose to display a default or custom error page if something goes wrong with loading the website. AdMob monetization. Enable or disable AdMob if you want to include ads in your app. You can configure how and where the ads appear. Navigation drawer. The navigation drawer is a menu that slides in from the side of the screen, offering easy access to different parts of your app. You can enable or disable it and customize its contents. Splash screen. The splash screen is the image or animation that appears when your app is launched, giving it a polished, professional feel. You can set the duration and customize the appearance of the splash screen. Extras. This section includes additional features like support zoom, allows users to zoom in and out within the app, uh, adds scroll bars to the side of the screen for easier navigation. Full screen mode lets the app take up the entire screen, hiding the status bar and navigation buttons. JavaScript APIs enable or disable JavaScript functionality within the app. HTTPS only content forces the app to load content only from secure HTTPS sources. Build Android APK once all the settings are configured, click on Build Android APK to create your app. You can also choose Build App Bundle if you're planning to upload your app to the Google Play Store. Now I'm going to create my app by entering the app's name, which I'll call TCMA, and providing the website URL. I'll also change the app icon and splash screen to customize the look. I'm not going to change anything else in the settings, so we're good to go.
Because I set the output directory to my desktop, the APK file will appear there. Oh, there it is. Now, I just need to install it on my Android phone and test it to see if it works. I've installed the app, so let's launch it. As you can see, the website to app conversion process is complete and the app is functioning properly and is stable. If you need more customization, you can always go back and make changes using Website to APK Builder. If this video helped you, please leave a like and comment your website link below so I can see who my efforts helped.